this camera has a heavy hard drive in it and it's still moving it. I am such a child. Today we're going to be looking at this. This is a remote control pivot head that you can use with your phone um, or a camera. Um, and basically, basically what it does is it uh, turns a stationary camera that you would have on a tripod into something that you can control by a little remote control and you can move the uh, camera around it claims that it uh, can hold up to uh, one kilo in weight um, this camera has been on it um, and I've, uh, I've uh, used all kinds of cameras on it I ju only just got it and um, it claims above a lot of... Will you stop doing that? It claims um, above a lot of the other um, devices of this kind that it can last for nine hours. Now, I personally, I think it may be a stretch on a large heavy camera but if you had a GoPro here on top of this, um, maybe, you know. Um, also, if you wanted to use it as a standalone, you have a little feet that comes out here. And um, you can just put it on a surface like that. And you can put your device on top of it. And you can control it that way. It's called a PULUZ Pulse 360 Intelligent Electronic Panorama Shooting Head. No dirty jokes, please. But um, it comes with, obviously, the device, uh, an instructions manual in a number of languages. It comes with a USB, small USB cable, your phone, if you have an ordinary Android phone, you can charge it through there. And uh, it comes with this uh, metal stand. For putting on the top top here that you can uh, put your phone on and it's made from metal and very very smooth smooth clamp on it it looks really really uh, it looks really really good quality uh, it's made from metal good quality Allen screws uh, nice and smooth turning of the little clamp there pretty good quality that and then it came with some sort of an attachment for a GoPro and the screw was missing I'm not too bothered about that you can get attachments for GoPros if you want to use GoPros here's a couple of shots of me using it with uh, a couple of different cameras
you can also Bluetooth this to your phone um, and you can set it up for uh, panoramic shots or 360 degree uh, shots uh, uh, with 24, 36, 48 uh, um, photos as it rotates around. Um, it's it's not this this here isn't metal it's it's actually a sort of a robust plastic but it is pretty um it is pretty robust uh, on the top here um on the outer circle is it's plastic but inside uh, is nice cushion rubber that protects the bottom of your phone so you're not going to or your phone or your uh camera um so you're not going to scratch it or damage it or anything. Um, why am I? Why did I decide to try this product out? Well, um, I'm one of those investigators that brings, you know, in indoor locations, I, I very often bring some tripods and have um, cameras set up in different rooms in a, in a big location, and they would be um, recording all the time with this you can simply set up your your tripod uh, mount this on mount your your camera on and you can leave the the, uh, the tripod in the middle of a room and it will rotate around and it will it will scan the whole uh, the whole room uh, if you have a, a tripod in the corner of a room, very often you may have a blind spot there and this eliminates that. So you have a camera that's moving all the time. Um, Will, you know, if a place is, has paranormal activity, will that paranormal energy be sort of curious that there's a moving camera in the middle of the, in the middle of the room? Possibly. We, you don't, you don't know. But, um, this this uh, allows us to have a 360 degree um, surveillance of a location. Um, actually, if you were out in, in the woods, you could um, you could set this up for a while in different parts of of the forest and have it scanning around for a period of time, and then bring home your 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 footage and analyze it through that. Uh, you know, without you having to uh, turn the camera, you can have this, you can go off and do your own investigation, leave this sitting, leave it rotating around, and, um, you know, um, pretty useful, you know. Uh, the only downside I have to it, actually, is that there's a little on and off switch right at the bottom here. When you put it on a large tripod, I'm gonna I'm going to use a removable shoe here. This uh, this is one of the shoes that goes on to one of our tripods. Uh, when you when you put when you actually put this on and then you mount it to when you mount it to the, the, the tripod itself it's gonna come out about that much um, very very hard to get access to the actual button you can get a, a, a slight access to the button right there but when it's it's sitting in on the tripod it's very very awkward to get it that's the only gripe I have with it but um, Tyler would sort of just give that a, a give that a little go um, the retail price online I paid for this is twenty four ninety nine, so it's not bad you know it's not bad there is actually other accessories you can get for this you can actually get a plate with a hot shoe mount on the middle of the plate and you can put it on the top here and you can put something that you want to uh, film or uh, photograph and you can have that item rotating around as you're filming it, uh, having your close-up shots and stuff like that. Um, as it says earlier, you can use it with or without a 
tripod because it's got its little legs there. Um, yeah, uh, this this um, I bought this for the purpose of surveillance. Yes, you could use this with <coughs> um, CCTV, um, you know, uh, setups, uh, provided that the um, the cameras are uh, wireless. Um, you don't want it spinning. Or, you don't, you don't want this spinning around because you're going to end up with a tangled mess. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to testing this out um, when we go investigating, which is not very often uh, lately because of weather and such. It's it's been a challenge. But it's certainly a product that I will be using um, this uh, this this product ideal for um, the forest uh, location that we're in uh, places like Cumber House um, possibly if it's a good enough product I might buy a few more for some of the 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 still um, cameras that survey the survey other rooms that we're not in while we're investigating some other room um, we do sometimes leave cameras running in other rooms and that and this will be handy for that so that is basically it folks um, yeah um, it has a claim of nine hours of, of working time time will tell time will tell I you know um, I haven't used it long enough to to say that that is true or not. A lot of these products um, do have just claims of, of two to four hours, and that. And on an investigation, that isn't just isn't isn't enough. Uh, this seems to have the longest running time. Um, it seems to be a robust little thing, and um, you know, twenty four ninety nine. I bought it on eBay. Um, yeah, that's basically. That's basically it, and it, it can it can control your camera on your tripod by remote control by moving it over and back and stuff. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this will uh, this will uh, this will help us bear some fruit, you know. But uh, that is it for today. You know, when I buy something that might be a little bit interesting, I do tend to do a little bit of a review on it and show you what I bought and why I bought it and that and uh, you know yeah this is this is the latest thing that I hope I don't break um, but um, yeah it's the P it's pronounced P-U-L-U-Z Pools um, and it is the uh, remote shooting head for tripods and that so uh, yeah uh, very very versatile use camera uh, camera phone they say claim anything up to a, a kilo in weight and um, the big camera that I have here is just a little under it is pretty heavy in that and it still managed to uh, uh, deal with this uh, no problem at all Anyway, folks, I will see you in the next video.